All right, so a few days ago, we had another weekly Warriors Den live stream. And in this one, UB let us know pretty much everything that was pushed into the testing grounds that went live on Thursday. And man, they did a lot more than I was expecting. Personally, I thought that maybe one or two of the heroes would receive what we'd call larger changes, and the rest would receive, you know, quality of life things, but no. UB put some really noticeable work into pretty much all of these heroes. So today, I just want to relay the information to you guys pretty briefly, and I'll save my longer thoughts and whatnot for a video with my impressions of the testing grounds and feedback for UB. I know this video is a day late, but there are plenty of people who still keep up with For Honor and don't play it, you know, waiting for the update to bring them back, so this is for you guys. As always, if you do watch these videos somewhat regularly, I'd really appreciate it if you sub to the channel, as it really helps me out. And if you're interested in keeping up, I stream on Twitch pretty much every day now, and I'll leave a link in the description. Now with that out of the way, let's not waste any more time, and get right into it. Alright, so if you weren't aware, UB let us know a while back that they had planned on throwing seven heroes into the testing grounds, with most of them having larger changes. The seven heroes are Shigoki, Armusha, Berserker, Zheng Jun, Hidokiri, Jean Hu, and Gladiator. Now let's start off by going through Armusha's changes. Um, so for each hero, UB left their goals for us to see. For Musha, they were looking to improve the viability of Blade Blockade, as well as give him an opener and ways to deal with bashes. So the Blade Blockade can now be used from the recovery of any attack on hit, miss, or non-interrupted block. Non-interrupted block pretty much means an attack that doesn't bounce on block upon, you know, hitting a blocking opponent. Like if an opponent is out of stamina. So with this change, think of Black Prior's fast flow into Bulwark, very useful change. All of his blade blockade follow-ups are now guaranteed, the heavy follow-up is now a side unblockable with his own properties, and the light follow-up has been changed to a top unblockable instead of Ring the Bell, which has been moved to a different part of his kit. Ring the Bell has been turned into a soft feint for his opener heavies and dodge forward heavy. So from any heavy opener or dodge forward heavy, you can now soft feint into Ring the Bell and get that animation and move that we've all come to love. This is actually something we talked about almost two years ago, and it's surprising to see it here. As for dodge attacks, his forward dodge attack is now forced to come out from the top, and the armor has been moved back to 400 milliseconds instead of 100 milliseconds, so the armor won't start extremely early anymore. Those other two animations from either side have been moved over and have become 600 millisecond side dodge heavies, which still act as openers. So this lets Aramusha deal with heroes who have bashes much more easily. Last big thing that came to Aramusha is that his infinite chain has been improved. So now he gets to his finishers when a second attack is done without switching stances. This pretty much means that Aramusha no longer has to do side top, side top, side top to continue the chain. He can switch things up and honestly, it looks really cool. That's the gist of things when it comes to Aramusha and I'm really looking forward to playing him again. Next up, let's look at another samurai, the one on the larger side, Shigoki. So Shigoki was in the last testing grounds, the one with Peacekeeper, Nobu, and Warden, who've all received their changes now, but Shugo still needed time. Uh, Yubi's goals when it came to Shugo is making him less frustrating to fight against while giving him ganking tools and better 1v1 pressure. So the most noticeable change is to his Demon's Embrace. Demon's Embrace is no longer a soft faint from heavies. It's now a neutral attack. You perform it with back and guard break, so the same way you would do Gladiator's Toe Stab or Tiandi's Palm Strike. It's been sped up to 900 milliseconds and deals 20 damage and heals for 10. It also gives stamina to his opponent and the armor is still gone. Yubi says this is to try and make Demon's Embrace a ganking tool. Next up is Charge of the Oni. So Charge of the Oni is when you would sprint and press dodge to do his big man run to plow opponents off points. <laughs> I should have worded that differently. It's when he would do his big man run to, you know, push people out of the way off points or ledge people. Anyways, that's been changed and now acts more like Shinobi's super sprint. You press sprint while sprinting and Shugo will start running faster. They removed the armor and unblockable properties from the move, so it really does just act as a faster sprint. 
This was to try and allow Shigoki to rotate from point to point or just move around more quickly. He's also got three more things to do from dodging now. The dodge forward heavy, which just about everyone liked, and then a side dodge headbutt and a forward dodge headbutt. The front dodge one is 500 milliseconds and the side dodge one is 533 milliseconds. And both headbutts deal a flat 10 damage. So rather than have it confirm a light or something, the headbutt itself does 10 damage. And lastly, his light attacks are no longer armored, no surprise there. So Shigoki feels pretty different and I think he'll have a lot of feedback coming from players and opponents alike. Next up, let's look at another samurai, the one on the creepier side, Hidokiri. I was not on the Hidokiri train until about two weeks ago when I picked them back up and Hido had become my temporary main for a while. And what I'll say off the bat is that Hido's changes feel really good. And I'm not looking forward to going back to the live version of Hidokiri when the testing grounds ends on the 8th. Anyways, Hido's got quite a few changes. Yubi's goal was to improve flowing into chains as Hito and give them a way to deal with bashes. So the sprint attack, dodge forward heavy, and zone all start chains now and allow Hito to get into that kick mix more often. The kick now has more range and shouldn't be able to be countered by back step attacks anymore and now both the kick and the sweep guarantee heavy attacks to make the mix more threatening than before. Her chain heavies are now armored upon release of the heavy button, and the heavies now have larger, flatter trajectories, basically meaning they'll hit more things while swinging. And lastly, Hidokiri now has a dodge attack, which honestly looks really cool. It's a 600 millisecond side dodge heavy, acts as a chain opener, and hits on the opposite side of the dodge, so if you dodge right, the attack will come from the left. Now on the Gladiator. Gladiator has become a bit more aggressive, so Zone Attack, Sucker Punch, and Toe Stab can all now chain into Heavy Finishers or Skewer, so he can pressure you more often. His Dodge Lights now have iframes on their startup, while the Side Dodge Bashes have more range and have iframes on their startup, while Crowd Pleaser moves forward more. Toe Stab got buffed, it now deals 10 flat damage and will allow teammates to get a finisher if they land a Heavy that happens to take the opponent out. Toe Stab was already a great ganking tool, now it got better. I don't see the 10 damage staying personally as with Haymaker, you know it makes it pretty painful but I guess we'll see. And lastly Skewer costs 12 stamina but no longer guarantees a dodge forward light, however you can access it more frequently. Moving on over to Berserker, their top light opener is now in line with his other light openers. It'll be 500 milliseconds and deal 12 damage, while after a faint it'll be 400 milliseconds and deal 11 damage. His dodge attacks have gotten better, his dodge lights are now enhanced, and his dodge forward attacks now move further. So he'll be able to, you know, chase his opponents more reliably and get into his chains. And his sprint attack, Boar Rush, now has extra forward movement. So he'll have an easier time, you know, catching up to fleeing opponents. And that's about it for Zerk. Some of us were worried that they may, you know, nerf him in response to those who think he's, you know, too over the top, but I'm glad that they didn't tone him down and instead made changes to further enhance his playstyle, making him even more into his own hero, who's effective in what he does. And lastly, let's talk about the two Wu Lin who received changes, John Hu and JJ both got work. With John Hu, it seems like they really let loose a bit and turned him into a hero that we were sort of saying he should be. When John Hu released, we talk about how it felt like Yubi sort of held back a bit and you know that he couldn't do all the things it felt like he should be able to do. Well now, he's received a few of the things we asked for as well as a few other things, so dodge cancels. All attacks can now cancel the recovery into dodges at 333 milliseconds on hit, miss, or non-interrupted block. This will allow him to keep the pressure on his opponents and not have to stop all the time while making him feel more limitless as Yubia put things when John Hu was revealed. On top of this, violent and brisk maneuvers are now enhanced and count as heavy parries. Stinging maneuver, the dodge forward light, is now 500 milliseconds and is enhanced, which makes him more threatening while trying to open up his opponents. And his subduing counter blow has been turned into a 500 millisecond dodge forward bash that chains into openers, giving him another way to open up his opponents. On top of this, they changed his superior block follow-ups to 
the attacks rather than the subduing counter blow. So on superior block, you can light for 22 damage or on a forward dodge heavy, you'll get a 30 damage attack. And the last two quality of life changes are that his zone attack is now 500 milliseconds and the right side heavy finisher trajectory is mirrored from the left side, which is great as the right side trajectory felt like it could barely even hit an opponent in front of Zhang Hu. And lastly, Zheng Jun. So his top heavy opener is now 800 milliseconds and deals 24 damage, which means he can now use his top heavy opener as a guard break punish. His side heavy opener is now 900 milliseconds and deals 27 damage and can be used as a light parry punish. His heavy finishers can now be soft fainted into guard breaks now, which will help him with people who try to roll away from them. His heavy attacks will now cost 12 stamina, which bring them in line with everyone else as well. Now his Sifu Swirl, you know the attack from Sifu Stance, is now unblockable, which will make it much more effective in group fights and make it useful against opponents he's externaling. Another change is that the Choke no longer guarantees damage to the opponent, so that it isn't the best option after every single heavy parry. And finally, his Dodge Forward attack is now 600 milliseconds, it no longer soft faints into the kick, and is no longer feintable. The kick has been changed into a 500 millisecond dodge forward bash that chains into openers. I already know the bash honor comments are inbound and understandably so. There are more dodge bashes, at least here in the testing grounds, and it's really because they work. Not the most interesting thing in the world, but they work and I wouldn't be surprised to see more in the future. Anyways, that's all I've got for this video. I tried to make it somewhat brief, I have my impressions video sometimes toward the end of the testing grounds. This batch of changes are welcome. I'm glad to see you know all of this in the testing grounds and I'm looking forward to seeing how Yubi will move forward with all of this. We've still got the midseason patch coming sometime within the next few weeks more than likely so let's see if any of this ties in with that. Anyways if you liked the video feel free to leave a like and sub if you're new and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.